What is up everybody? Video Addict here and I've got a box from a subscriber. Stephen Hoover reached out to me and said that he wanted to make me a Kydex sheet for my 1911. So, who am I to turn that down, right? I mean, come on. I mean, anywhere that I can save a little bit of money and continue to pay for boxes, I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, and I, you know, he didn't even ask me to do a review or anything. So, this is just me doing it for him. So, uh, hopefully it doesn't suck, Steven. <laughs> it sucks, that's on you, because this is a live unboxing. Uh, not live, but this is me opening it and everybody seeing what's going on. He offered to make it for free for me, and uh, me being me, I have, ex I have high quality taste. So, I wanted a special design, I guess, and I don't even know, I mean, I, I just like the design. So he said he could do it, but the Kydex cost a certain amount. So I paid for the Kydex because I'm, I'm me and I'm particular. Whatever. <laughs> All right, over to the box. We're gonna see some paper and some Kydex. Ooh. Oh, looky there. Ew. Got all kinds of stuff here. All right, so this is the Kydex finish that I wanted. It is beautiful. I love it. I'm pretty freaking excited. Alright, is that everything in the box? Yeah. Okay, so he made me a few things. Okay. This, this looks like a Kydex wallet. Sorry, I couldn't find a relevant podcast to subscribe me to. I didn't ask you to subscribe me to a podcast. I don't know what she's doing tonight. My phone's acting weird. This is a belt clip. <clears throat> Looks like a credit card holder or a little money clip. We're going to start off over here with my Ruger. Uh, it's an ECP9, but there you can say pretty much it's an LCP9. Same, same exact gun. Only difference is the... Uh, the uh, the only difference on it is there's no adjustable sights on the EC, ECP or EC9. So, change clear. Alright, so this is for that. And I wanted it for a Molly attachment because I really want to put it somehow like right here. Oh, that's a nice snap in. You know, I'll mount it to my Molly and just kind of keep it there just for like, you know. I picture if I ever needed like in a tactical situation and you know I'm out of bullets with whatever else I can have this right here as a backup very very cool man that's a nice snap in I only bought enough Kydex really for this and so he used it to make highlights the little scrap pieces which I really actually Dude, that's a nice snap in. I really like that. That is really, really nice. Very, very cool. I'll just leave that right there for now. Okay, uh, this here is my bad boy. Now, you've seen this before. Uh, this is a leather sheath that was made by a gentleman by the name of Gary Gilbert. He lives up in Kentucky. He's like, he is a master whenever it comes to leather leather work. I've had my my rifle sling, my first ever rifle sling I had made out of it, uh, made by him, and then I had him make me a leather uh, holster for this. The reason I want the Kydex is because it's Louisiana. Whenever I'm out there doing my hunt and lease stuff, leather and me sweating like crazy does not mix very well. So whenever the thing came up before, me 
to be able to get some Kydex. I was very happy, very excited about it. The gun's empty. This is one of my favorite things about these 1911. This is the Kimber. Uh, this is the custom TLE RL2. This is a great gun. It's a heavy gun, but I think that's just a 1911. I, I don't know. Um, anyway, this little sound it makes, it makes it even whenever you shoot, and it just sounds so awesome. That little ting, I love it. I think it's a great sound. That's, that may just be me, but who knows. So, this bad boy is going to go around here. That's a good tight fit. It's, it's just, it's not a snap-in fit like that one. I think I'm okay with that. I think that's probably a better thing. It is a very tight fit, though. That is a good tight fit on there. Yeah, that bad boy ain't coming out of there. Like I said, that's a heavy gun, so for it to hold that tight, that is awesome. Now this is going to go right there. I'll be able to... I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, he did have enough Kydex in this to make me a mag holder. So that will be in there. Boom. Very cool. So, yes. I have a whole setup here. And... What I can only assume is a what? I guess. It's made, it's got like credit card size indentions on it. So I'm guessing it's for a credit card. Thank you very much. Uh, that's really, really cool, Steven. Uh, I am going to put his information in the description below for you to be able to contact him if you're interested in getting some Kydex done. This is something that he offered to do for me as just a kindness as a fan of the channel so I am super super appreciative uh, as I am with all of you who send things to me or you know want to do something special like this for me uh, it's really it's really amazing what happens uh, with this YouTube channel you know I think you guys help me out uh, more than I help you out and I mean not talking about gifts but I mean just I don't know. Sometimes it's just connecting with the world. You know, you never know what's out there. And uh, that's kind of how I see it. So when people complain about my videos being too long or this and that, you know what? You don't have to watch me. Uh, and those of you that do and take part in the channel, I appreciate it. And chit chat with me, you know, email me. I, I like it all, man. I mean, it's social interaction. And in, a world, in the world today, I mean, this is kind of where it's kind of gone to. Now you can meet people all over the world, all over the country. I got, I got people that watch my freaking channel in Australia and in Canada and in freaking South Africa. I mean, dude, this is, this is by far probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. And it's not, not that this ain't something cool, but you know, I mean, I was a semi-pro football player, you know, and I, I really enjoyed doing that. And was kind of, you know, don't want to say a big deal, but I mean, it, it, I was I was known for that, and uh, you know, and all the stuff that I got through that. I don't really know how to say it. Uh, this is just kind of better, I think. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are awesome. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, very very cool, man. This is well made stuff. And it'll probably, man, it's probably gonna break in too much. I hope it don't. I don't want to get loose there. I actually like that. You know, this will eventually do some wearing on your gun, but that's just something that kind of comes with the territory. Uh, you know, this gun, I didn't get it to be a prissy little thing. I mean, it is a Kimber. I get it, but I didn't buy it at the store. <laughs> I didn't pay. You know, I actually. Bought this from a guy on a uh, online trade site, whatever, and um, so I didn't pay what normal people probably pay for this gun. Uh, not that that doesn't make me want to care for it as much. I'm just saying, you know, it don't hurt as much if it gets scratched up. <laughs> I guess you'd say. 
Very, very cool, man. Super excited. Nice mag pouch. This is going to be really nice for a tackle vest that I want to do. snaps in that good all right yeah so again if you're interested in it check out the description below and uh give give old steven a holler and uh you know this is something i think he he just does for fun he said you know just something he does in his spare time so uh you know let's let's support him if it's something you're looking for uh, i'm telling you i love the coloring i love the job i love I mean, he did really, really well. I'm, it's some of the best Kydex stuff I've seen. Uh, so, very, very neat. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't in the comments below. Like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And subscribe. I'm out.